Hey everybody, Brian here. Now, recently my mom flew into Taiwan for a visit, and because of that, I took a week off from work to relax and spend time with family, and also to go sightseeing. And that is why I'm bringing you here to the National Revolutionary Martyrs Shrine. So first, what is the best way to get here? Well, what I did was ride the MRT to Dodge's station, and from there it was about a five minute taxi ride to the shrine. The shrine is open from 9 o'clock to 5 o'clock, and there is no entrance fee. So what is this place? The National Revolutionary Martyr Shrine is dedicated to the people who fought and died to establish the Republic of China and also in the Chinese Civil War and the war against the Japanese which was part of the greater conflict that was World War II. This, this shrine is a shrine. It is just that, right? It's meant to honor the dead. You're not going to get a museum experience with restaurants and gift shops and people trying to make money. It's not like that. For me, this place is all about history and you have the beautiful architecture, so it was great. I studied history in university, so this kind of thing is right up my alley. And let me keep it real though. If you're the kind of person who is more into shopping or doing foodie things, then give this place a skip. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with shopping and foodie stuff. I love night markets and all of that. But this is not that kind of experience.
Okay, now let me give you guys some more details about the place. The shrine was built in 1969 on Qingshan Mountain, which is near the Jilong River. And the architecture is in the style of the Forbidden City in Beijing. In parts of the shrine, there are numerous spirit tablets and incense being burned to honor around 390,000 people who died for the Republic of China. Spirit tablets are small plaques that are usually made of wood, and they are inscribed with words honoring gods or goddesses or just normal people. In this case, it is the martyrs. They can also include the person's name, title, dates of birth, and death, and other information. I would say the main thing for tourists to see would be the changing of the guard ceremony, which is done by various branches of the military, which takes place every hour, and is a lot like the ceremonies at Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall and Sun Yat-sen Memorial Hall. But this one is a lot longer because of the setup of the shrine and it is a lot more open. So it can be easier to see if there aren't hordes of bus traveling tour groups led by little men with silly little flags or stuffed animals on a stick. Seriously, that trend needs to die. Let's take a moment to watch that changing the guard ceremony now. Okay, now, some extra interesting information. In 1988, the shrine was the site of the funeral of Chang Guo. Now, you might remember me mentioning Chiang Kai-shek. Well, this was his son, who assumed the leadership of Taiwan sometime after his father's death. On March 29th, which is Youth Day, and September 3rd, which is Armed Forces Day of every year, the president of Taiwan, along with the heads of the five branches of government, go to the shrine to pay their respects to the martyrs by bowing and offering incense. And this shrine is not the only one in Taiwan. There are other similar shrines in other cities in Taiwan, and similar ceremonies are led by local politicians. Now the last thing I want to do is this. Let me pose a question to you guys. So, given recent political developments and the trend towards people identifying as only Taiwanese and not Chinese, what is the future for a place like this? Will future generations care for a place like this, which is all about Chinese nationalism and the Republic of China, which, let's face it, doesn't really exist? Or will they ignore it or even move to have it demolished or repurposed to suit a more pro-Taiwanese Taiwan. Let me know what you think in the comments below. As always guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed a look at the Martyr Shrine, and please don't forget to rate, share, subscribe, and all that other good stuff. Okay, bye-bye!